that I see. That's great. I think it's the same job. I think it's, you know, about telling stories. It's about storytelling and, and merging beautifully and seamlessly with the images. And I think it's always been about that. I think there's a lot more music now than there was when I started in a movie. Um, it's, I seem to rewrite things a whole lot more because the demo making process is different and the picture changes so often because of the avid. So, you know, it's, it's a little faster paced, but um, I've, I've adapted to it. I enjoy it. There is a different feeling about what film music is now. You know, we know in the past it's it's kind of been looked about, looked down upon in the university and in uh, the sort of classical music concert world. It's just not the case anymore. People people are really actually listening to it and hearing it in its original context, which I think is very important. That you that the the big thing now is the live movie the whole movie with the orchestra so you're hearing it in its in its original context and what the composer actually intended not a suite or something that's kind of watered down or you know in in, in some way hey, one more time. I think with film composing you really want to concentrate on your craft um, make sure you listen to every genre take it all in not just film music I think you really want to be influenced by all kinds. And then also to not forget about the one half of your title, it's film composer. Often you get people that really know composing, harmony, counterpoint, things like that, orchestration, but aren't really, don't really speak the language of film as much. And I find that to be really important. That's the language that you speak with your immediate employer, the director on a film. They speak, they speak film. So you really want to be able to converse in it. Yeah.